day six. Mrs Wood here. I uh, hope you all had a lovely weekend. Um, hopefully the weather this week is going to be a little bit better than last week and we're going to get outside a little bit more. Um, but I'm here to talk you through your learning for this week. So this week we have got lots of great activities for you. Um, I'll start off with the English. So if you head over to our YouTube channel and go to our... Um, if you want to click on Year 6's playlist, and then you can see all of the current year six um, video clips that we've done for you. Obviously, if you want to look through all the other ones, then by all means, but it's just a quick way to go and have a quick look at the most recent ones for year six. So on there, if you go playlist, and then go to full playlist, and then if you scroll all the way down to the bottom, you can see the most recent ones. So English this week, Mrs Thornley has done a video clip for you to explain all of the learning for this week. Um, there is a video stimulus for you that's a bit of an eerie sort of classroom, uh, sort of like a science lab, that type of thing to get your ideas going for your English this week. So definitely watch Mrs Thornley's video clip there with lots of ideas of how to get started. But your, um, if you head to the Google Drive, there's lots of ways for you to start your story. So it's going to be a descriptive piece. We're thinking about creating tension, building tension for your reader. Um, so think about lots of different devices there that you're going to be able to use. So lots of information there for you. You've also got a planning sheet here. So you can gather all of your ideas. So again, using your senses, um, you're going to be thinking about why you're there. What is this building? It will all make sense when you watch the video clip. So this is what it actually looks like, the first image that you'll see on the video clip. Um, and then as you watch that video, you'll be able to then generate all of your ideas. What will you um, describe? How are you going to feel? How do you want your reader to feel? That's really important. So again, you're thinking about how you want them to experience the video clip. So almost if they were to, to read your story, they would almost imagine what is going on in that video clip when you saw it to get your ideas flowing. Um, and what made you visit? You've also got on here, oops. You've also got on here some, uh, sentence structures for you, you've got some vocabulary that you might want to magpie just to give you a couple of ideas to get you started. Remember you can use as many of these as you want to but you can also generate your own as well, you're all very good at doing that so please feel free to, to use your own ideas. These are just some ideas to get you started if you get a little bit stuck. Um, also remember to describe how your character feels as you take them through the setting so they might feel scared. They might feel a bit intrigued. They might want to go in a little bit deeper, find out what's going on in there and get to the bottom of, of, of what, is, what is going on there. Um, Mrs Thornley has done a writing model for you. So a model of excellence there. So feel free again to read that through. If you're a little bit stuck, you might want to magpie a few things there. It will give you some ideas of how to get started, how to structure your sentences. Um, and it might just give you a little bit of inspiration to get started. But check out all of those and this is uh, Thorny's video clip and that will give you loads of inspiration. Next up on here, we've got our spelling challenge and our spag. Um, same as before, a little activity for you to get started. Prefixes there, um, for you to have a go. It's a prefix coming at the beginning of the words. And then your spag task looks like this. There's three different options there. You know... Um, which, what, which is the right challenge for you. So choose the one that's most appropriate for you there. And then obviously the answers are as each page goes along. Uh, we have got our STEM challenge here. It's a marble run challenge. Um, looks really exciting. So take a look at that. Um, tells you all the uh, equipment that you need in order to succeed here. Instructions of how to create it. And then... Um, time for you to test it. And again, if you want to video that and send that into us, that would be great. We'd love to see how your marble runs go. Uh, science this week. Again, if you head over to the Google, no, the Google Drive, the YouTube channel, Mr. Gooding has done a video clip there for your science, sinking the Titanic. Okay, so he'll be explaining all about his task. And then back on the Google Drive is everything you need to know. So how to create it um, and then your recording sheet. Okay, remember you don't need to print this out. You can just record it on your own piece of paper. Um, but a very exciting task. And again, send us all the stuff that you've been doing because we really want to see what you've been up to. 
Uh, this week here for Reading Comps is all about um, welfare, state and the NHS. Um, so lots of information there. Obviously really poignant at the moment um, to give you a bit of background information. And then if you carry on scrolling down, you've got your key questions. And then on the final sheet, you've got your answers, but I'm not going to scroll down there just yet. Okay. Uh, you've got some greater depth challenges there for maths if you want to make, um, give yourself a challenge from Mr. Cole. Uh, so you've got this one here, which is all about eggs. And then you've got this one here, it's all about some shapes. Oops, if it opens. We've got some shapes here. You've got to work out the value of each of these shapes. They're all worth something different. Okay, okay, and finally, you've got your art task here. So art this week is continuing with the pop art theme, and there's a bit of information there, and you're going to be creating some pop art style advert art in the style of Andy Warhol. So he does all this re um, repetitive imagery and bright bold colours. Um, so here's some examples of some 1950s style adverts. Um, and then this is the type of thing that I'm expecting to see so you might want to choose a, a food product, a drink, a household product, cleaning product, anything, and you're going to create it in the style of pop art. So bright bold colours, um, really jazzy, but you might want to draw it, you might want to collage, you might want to use the computer to, to create your images. So give it a go. Please send in all of your work. Last week it, we were inundated with, with your amazing work and it was so nice to see not only your work, but you in the video clips as well, with the, all the pictures showing off your work. It's so nice to see what you've been up to because obviously you guys get to see us doing the video clips and acting all foolish and mucking things up and things don't go right on the computer. But we don't get to see you guys, so when you do send in that work, it's really, really nice. It's motivating for us as well. So keep sending in the great work. Make sure you check out all of the videos on the YouTube account. I know um, Mrs. Sale did a French video last week and Toby, you had a go at it. Um, but if those of you who didn't see it, there's a, a family tree French task for you to have a go at. So please have a go at that. And then finally, Mrs. Thornley and the Year 6 team have put together a celebration assembly. Um, so it just looks like this one here, um, that celebrates all of the work that you've been sent in. So if you head to that page, you can see, hopefully you'll be able to see, uh, obviously it's not gonna work, is it? Bear with me. We'll just, just go back here. Okay, so this is what our celebration assembly looks like. Um, it's a celebration of all of the work that you've sent in to us, so you will all be able to see everyone else's work they've been sent in. Um, and it might give you a little bit of inspiration and a bit of motivation to, to send in your own work, because if you haven't already done so, because we really, really want to see what you've been up to. So please check out Celebration Assembly, French video from Mrs. Saleh, History from Miss Edelston, uh, Science from Mr. Gooding, and I'm sure Mr. Cole will be putting up some PE challenges for you as well. But if you want to send in those video clips as well, please do. Have a lovely week, stay safe, and enjoy the work. Take care. Bye.